name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. The fifth race on the card, I believe, is quite competitive. Dees may have other ideas, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Race 5, 10 to 3, 14 50. A handicap for fillies and mares at the 76 level. And uh, we've got for you a, a rerun of Lady Canton. And uh, Rahil Radhakrishna spoke to Duncan Howells and Alison Wright. Lady Canton, Miss Gibson. Bosna is also trying to run on. Down on the inside is Lily Bell. Lady Canton, Questi Quello. Down the inside, Miss Gibson's also trying to come back for more with Lily Bell. Lady Canton, Miss Gibson, and Lily Bell, the three of them. And oh, so Squishy's kicking late. Oh, so Squishy's coming strongly. Oh, it's close between oh, so Squishy and Lady Canton. Then Miss Gibson and Lily Bell. Oh, sure, in a very good race, first run out the Maidens. I think she's. Quite a neat sort of a filly. Obviously the wide draw, it's a very competitive race, there's a lot of runners in the race. Uh, she doesn't travel very well the first part of a race, so it's, it's going to be difficult from the draw. But if she hasn't got too much ground to make up turning for home, I think she'll give a very good account of herself. Yeah, last time out, um, she probably just needed the run. She's a big filly, hadn't run for some time, and with all the rain, her work program had been a bit interrupted. So hoping for a better run, she is um, jumping from a tricky draw, but just hoping for an improved run. Thanks to the team for the uh, contributions and the uh, feedback. Lady Canton, who we saw in that rerun, <coughs> excuse me, she was uh, a 77 last time. She's been put up only two points to a 79. It was a short head victory beating oh so squishy, but she's a lovely filly. Uh, she gets four kgs off from Brevin Plikes, which will certainly help. Baby on board, number one's doing well. Uh, Leopard Lady D's uh, is, is 114 weeks since she's last won, but my oh my, she's knocking at the door. But the door just doesn't want to open, but she's earning and running so well as Leopard Lady. Uh, family favorite can never be ignored. Pfizer, that... Oh. You can go on. That last run, uh, we ignore the last run. And we just you, know, you know what? We, Jazz Cafe, we got that. Yes. Tom Roos, we got that. Yes. So when you look at the way you are going to be structuring your perm, this type of race, if, if, if you come through with those two bankers and they arrive, you don't want to start trying to look for horses. Here. You, you know my rule. It's a big field of 15. So what's it? If it's more than seven runners, I'm out. It's a field race. And I can't narrow this down to less than seven runners, Warren. This is tough, tough, tough. I've written down comments on every runner here. Uh, you've mentioned them. And if you want to go on about horses that you can possibly try to, to single out, you know, give us grace. It was an experiment last time out when they tried over 2,600 meters. She doesn't stay. She'll be more competitive of this mark. Lady Canton, I agree with you. You know, she races off a lower mark if you factor in the apprentice allowance oh, yeah, of 4 yeah. kgs. I mean, she's now off a net 71. She won off a 77 last time out. Leopard Lady, you can never ignore. Family favorite loves the track. There was support for her last time out at Hollywood Bet Scravel. Faiza, what a disappointment she was for me last time out. I thought she was in the right race at the right time. Atandiwem Gudla did nothing wrong. He had a position perfectly. She just didn't go on with it. You know, she's dropping down in class and she gets the two and a half kgs, what she's racing off, a net 74. Escopologist, this horse runs for Cole Dickon every time. Wonderful, Celtic Beauty, Mascarina, they're all big improvers in the race, they lightly race. I, I like Duncan Owl's comment for Pinstripe because last time out at Hollywood Bet Scottsville, when Paul Gatsby's runner won, and I interviewed Paul, I mean, this horse was rumored unbeatable on the day, Pinstripe. I mean, there was so much to talk for her. And the betting support was there to match. And then a horse like 19 Gale Lass, I don't know how good she could be out the maiden. So it's a very tough race. If I had to, you know, say Warren Lenferna, give me a roving banker because it's a nice quartet to try and catch her. Just give me one horse as a roving banker. Which horse would it be? Eight, wonderful. Eight, wonderful for Warren Lenferna. Good third last time out behind his cosmologist. 
worrying and hoping that uh, the filly can reverse the form. I said I was disappointed with Pfizer last time out, but I look at the average ratings, 81, 81, 80, and uh, it is much lower. This is an average rating of a 76 this time round. Can she turn it around with the claim two and a half kgs and put that last run behind her? She could maybe do so. So is Warren, that going to be your roving bank? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to include. I'm, I'm not. I'm trying to convince myself talking about the horse while I'm talking to you. If I had to choose one, because we're going to go field in, we, if we're going to go bank. Listen bank to me. I'm going to give you the horse now. I'm going to give you the horse now. Thirty-three to one. Give us grace. Okay, so that's your. I don't know why the horse is priced up at thirty-three to one because last time out was an experiment. Okay. She doesn't stay. But look at her previous form prior to that. She won effortlessly over 2,000 meters. She was second over 17.50, which is the course and distance. She was second over 17.50, which is the course and distance. So if you just ignore that last start, 33 to 1 looks an absolute steal. Looks a gift because, <laughs> you know, both uh, Warren Lenferna and myself, we can't find a horse to have a go on. So at 33 to 1 in maybe some places, I'm going to go with number 2. Yeah, Give okay. Well, well, the fear the, to, 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 to the parting shot that we'll give you is that uh, we've decided the field for the pick six. That's it. Um, and the fact that Deez's roving banker or value selection is 33 to 1, and my roving banker and value selection is 10 to 1, mm. just shows you the toughness of the race. good fun days like these are, are great you get the whole industry together um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone mm -hmm.